Good afternoon from a very sunny, very hot, brain melting Peterborough. For those people that skip forward on videos, I'm in Peterborough. And for those that people that skip forward just that little bit more, I'm still in Peterborough. Sale items. Not for sale, the measuring bowl and the round blue bowl, bowl uh, the spawning brushes and various other bits and pieces. A subscriber came the other day and bought the pressure filter, that's gone. He also took the three foot camp net, that's gone. Another subscriber turned up and took all the sponges, they're gone. One thing that I should point out, and it's my fault, I don't post anything. Uh, I've been on eBay many, many, many years. Don't use it as often now, but uh, an odd couple of times we've got people saying, "No, it didn't turn up. I want my money back." When, if you sign something, uh, send something that has to be signed for, and then somebody tries to pull that stunt, it makes you very wary. Um, what have I been up to? Some very good, and some ever so slightly. Annoying, not bad, just annoying. Uh, the 11 flags that are laid, or paving stones if you're from a different part of the world, uh, that I put down, two popped. So I had to dig out all the um, mortar again and I have to refit them tonight. I've just cut the grass before, before my grandkids turn up tomorrow and I'm getting very giddy. Giddy granddad time. Right, one of the biggest improvements and something that I've been looking forward to was done last night with the help of my neighbours Tom and Charlotte who did this For those amongst you that's doom and gloom merchants, they're all in they're in life everywhere. Yes, there is still five bricks missing. And on my careometer that's don't. They will turn up and they will be finished when ready. So the pergola is up. I've utilized as much wood as I could, maybe all the bearers, and trying to create a little bit of shade. That's still an ongoing job. Uh, because the structure is basically stood on the side of the pond, I needed to brace it quite strongly, so it's now fastened to the upper deck by two 6x2s. So just in case one of the kids grabbed all of the post on the way past, it's not going to move anywhere. The fish are amazing, and we've got one extra. The water clarity is amazing. Oh dear. It's a good job. Ken Simpson, Dublin Coy. Hasn't seen my windows because they need a serious clean they are pretty acky. Right, cat's at work today, but she did several water tests over the last few days before we went to Quenny to buy this koi. It wasn't my fault, I was forced into it. My birthday present from last month. So without further ado, I'm going to float this bag in this shady corner. Full sunlight is at the other side of the pond, so it should be okay here. Yeah? And then we'll uh, photograph it, measure it, release it. Thank you.
was a nice trip. Thank you to the staff at Quinicoy. We went for a fish. We came back with a fish. Took a lot of choosing. A big thank you to Steve Winfield and Janet Winfield for saying hello. And to Pete Harrison who said hello. You must subscribe Pete. Uh, Pete invited us to see his pond which was 10 minutes away from Quinnicoy but we were a little bit rushed for time so next time Pete get in touch with us through um, our channel now that you're going to subscribe um, and the gentleman in the was it a Barcelona shirt frantically looking around for fittings I think he might have been called Simon uh, but again nice um, nice person said hello encouraged us to continue with the channel which is nice uh, so hi to those people um, let's have a look at this fish flagstones are down I'm so happy that I can walk on there without coppling over I'm trying to keep this in the corner because this is the coolest point. There's just a, a little bit of shade here. So we have bought a kahaku to replace the lost kahaku that we call Dave. So in keeping with tradition, this is gonna be Davina. And we do have a friend who is a consultant called Davina and she's gonna be marginally happy about that so we're going to um, measure this up photograph it and release it about another 10 minutes which for you will be the blink of an eye so I just have to thank Kat for buying this for me Kat's busily making uh, a ham sandwich and a cup of tea so yeah good start to the day catch up with you in a bit Welcome to the world, Davina. I'm not going to say Peterborough because it'll probably just jump out and run off. Right, quick measure. This is going to be so easy. Go. 27. 27. We bought a big blue. I'll follow you. So it specifically says that this shouldn't be placed in direct sunlight so what I've done is I've cut into the supply at this end so this is main supply I've basically rooted this through the big blue and then it goes into the greenhouse to the three stage original dechlorinator thank you ever so much for everybody that put down the recipe for sodium thiosulfate we're going to make some of that up in the near future the drum wow let's go have a look at the drum i'll follow you beer drinking seat beer drinking window so after the big blue the water supply comes in through the three stage and then out top up in the skimmer doom and gloom mongers yes I can still hear the air but I've attached an air stone which is now in the dirty side those eagle eyed people that saw that I fitted the UV in the drum side 
I've now taken it out because it burnt the drum screen. I ended up with a brown stripe right down the centre of it. So it's now there with an air stone on. Simmering nicely, a nice brown colour and no more bits have come out. So I think we've got to the end of that. I took the decision to take the UV out of the drum side purely because the screen really isn't covered by the warranty and the fact that it got burnt and I can't put the, the tube any further away because for me it needs to be further away from the screen but looking at the screen but mine is almost touching it and this brown stripe appeared and it's like no I can't afford to burn screens on a expensive drum filter so I've done without I've moved in the dirty side and that's where I have to stay right I'm going to check my um, script see what else I've got to discuss get back to you This sorry guy just does not stop eating. That's going to be a real chunky monkey when it's done. Aren't you? Dyson. Right, we're going to run the gutter into here. And don't worry, the overflow will be somewhere else. This was the proposed position for the heater. But after speaking to Wrighty, he said that the heater needs a two meters clear in front for airflow. I have no argument because I don't know. He's the guy that I'd go to because he's the one that distributes the heaters. So, pluses, that saved me some money. Minuses, I might have a cold pond for Christmas. Cat has been in touch with Anglian Water couple of people mentioned that you can get rebates because you are charged for using water and discharging water when you actually fill a pond up you just use water but you don't discharge it you do various top-ups so we got in with um, Anglian water they're going to send out a document that we need to fill in and tell them the gallonage of the pond and uh, ask for 10% a week water change and get a rebate on that how much it's going to be I have no idea but when I know you'll know um, the flags popped because I didn't put the, the mortar in the right place I'm just so gutted about that but question for you out there perhaps builders I'm going to be putting the flagstones maybe 15 millimeters away from the window and I'll be putting some uh, black colored mortar in a tub it's not so much mortar it's jointing compound anyway what I was going to do was fill the void with PU sealant so I won't get any vibration kicked through it when people walk past might be a bit fussy answers on a postcard I don't know um, gallonage of the pond for the prize still keep putting the gallonage down we still need to know one person still is within 13 gallon of the final total which is amazing what else have we got to talk about let me have a look at my script I ain't got my glasses on so anything can happen the Sora guy that I've just shown you let's wipe the screen had a rather large raised scale area on its right hand side stress parasite I don't know uh, the small I'll just have to say orange fish because I can never remember what, what the hell to call it had circular pink waxy kind of cart pox all over it and ironically enough since we sorted the water out temperatures out 
and they've been settled, the Sorogoi scale has gone and the cowpox has gone. And I found that quite remarkable, but you might be sat there watching this thinking, yeah, that's what it does. <coughs> Excuse me. Hand feeding. They were all hand feeding within an hour of being put in the new pond. The Sorogoi always leads the way. The Chagoi seems to bring up the rear all the time. I'd expected uh, that to be the other way around, but it's a goi, chagoi, it's a goi, sorogoi. It's just, it can't, we can't fill it. Whatever we put in the pond, it just eats it. Um, has anybody used Mediclay with drum filters? And is there any reaction that you've had? I uh, recall watching La Magro's uh, incident with the Tempest and that created all sorts of problems so it just got me thinking is there a problem with the filter screen on a drum let me know let me know what else have we got second dose of fluke solve went in sunday and today is tuesday um there's been the odd flick but nothing serious so touch wood that's okay we'll see how that goes um, I think, I think we're all up to date now, so you know exactly what's going on. Can't get over these windows. It's just absolutely beautiful. Just love it. That's the new Kahaku, aptly named Davina. And this is the corner where we always stand if we're going to feed them and ironically enough this is where they all gather because they want feeding again shout out to Devon Coy Martin mate I hope your back's better bad backs absolutely awful uh, John Bullock I hope that the information that I gave you on the drum timer has worked out for you uh, it, it can be a, a bind when you've moved stuff and you haven't recorded what you had in the first place. Uh, Scott Cannons, sorry I've let you down mate. Got some mixing cement later. Uh, the next video out will be a, hopefully an in-depth view on the Quenicoy QK15 Combi Bio which I don't believe they stock anymore. I think they've been superseded. However, um, DVS, the company in Holland, I believe still do it under the guise of a CL15. I believe Ken Simpson has the one above me. Might be a CL25. But I shall do an in-depth review and it's all good. So in the meantime, stay safe. Look after your family. Get two jabs. and have a good week.